Are you suffering with poor gut health? Well, a bacteria imbalance or infection may be the root cause. In this video, you'll discover the early warning signs to help you detect whether or not a microbial imbalance is the root cause of your gut concerns. Hey Wellness Warrior, your gut is made up of trillions of microorganisms that coexist peacefully. Most of them are located in the large and small intestines, but some are also found throughout your entire body. When you're healthy, this microbiome is the environment that promotes smooth daily tasks inside your body. You have a unique system of microbiota that gets determined by your DNA. You get exposed to different microorganisms as a baby, but as you grow, environmental exposures and dietary changes can actually affect your microbiome and make it beneficial for your health or even harmful to it. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the signs and symptoms that you have a bacterial imbalance and possibly even an infection inside your gut. The first is going to be a loss of appetite. Next is going to be nausea. Okay, so if you're somebody who just walks around getting a lot of nausea for no reason, this could be why. Bloating. So do you eat, and it seems like almost anything you eat, you just get wildly bloated from? this is a good sign that you have a potential infection inside your small intestines. So a lot of bloating issues. Abdominal pain. In abdominal pain, a lot of times is just going to come from the massive amount of bloat that you have. Along with this comes gas and burping because the amount of air that's being produced within the colon. And this is because there's so much overgrowth. This bacterial overgrowth in the colon and this imbalance within the microbiome essentially produces an enormous amount of air. Then you feel uncomfortable and you get a lot of fullness after eating your meal. So if you eat and you just feel like excessively full, that's once again an imbalance in the microbiome. And then lastly, malnutrition. And this is actually, I think, one of the biggest and, and probably one of the largest dangers you have in this whole scenario is because what happens is when you have a large imbalance within the microbiome and you have too much bacteria in the wrong places, like in the small intestines, essentially what they start doing is actually eating the micronutrients that your body would normally get. So therefore, your body is getting starved of nutrition. So you'll have malnutrition issues. A lot of times you're going to find some of the biggest uh, nutritional deficits that you have are within fat soluble vitamins. So you have a vitamin A deficiency and all of a sudden your eyes aren't working properly like they should. You end up with a vitamin D deficiency, a vitamin E, vitamin K, and the list goes on. So we have to make sure that we're working to balance this out. So now you think that many of these gut issues remain in the gut, but unfortunately there's a lot of collateral damage that happens. And we're going to get to that in just one minute, but first a word from our sponsor. When you want to get rid of bad bacteria, in your gut, you need to make specific changes. Part of this process is putting in the right herbs and nutrients to support healthy gut flora that will give your body a reset. Microbiome's two-part system called BioClear 1 and 2 is a clinical strength formula that provides all natural ingredients designed to limit undesirable microorganisms. BioClear 1 and 2 works together to support your microbiome reset and help heal your gut issues. Some unique ingredients restrict unfavorable growth while stimulating intestinal movement. We use microbiomes BioClear every day in my clinic to help people just like you overcome the exact gut issues we're talking about in this video. Simply click on the link in the description below to save 20% on BioClear 1 and 2 by using code Dr. Nick, you don't want unhealthy pathogens growing in your gut. So get this scientific breakthrough formula today and save 20% with coupon code Dr. Nick. Link in the description below. Now, all of these bacterial issues lead to a condition called dysbiosis, which is an imbalance of microorganisms inside the gut. It can trigger an unhealthy environment in your body, leading to all kinds of health issues. You can even get candida and yeast overgrowth that tends to just grow uncontrollably. And this becomes a real problem and starts to really manifest in so many different ways. This dysbiosis contributes even to different immune-related conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, type 1 diabetes, and even ulcerative colitis. Now you might ask yourself, well, what does this have to do with my immune system? It has everything to do with your immune system because your gut is where most of your immune system is located. And the microbiome is going to have its largest impact on your gut health. So beyond those autoimmune conditions I just mentioned, you also can develop things like uh, systemic lupus, Crohn's disease, inflammatory bowel disease, eczema, anxiety, brain fog, depression, obesity, 
hormone imbalances. You can even go in and start developing things like intestinal permeability. You can have uh, complete uh, inflammatory disease within your colon. And honestly, the biggest devastation with all of these issues that we're talking about, if they go on for years and years and they continue to not be identified, essentially you'll end up in a place where it can turn into something more severe like colon cancer. You know, it's interesting because when I work with patients who have had devastating colon issues where they've maybe even had colon cancer, they've had parts of their colon removed, I always ask them, how long did you suffer with this before you ended up with cancer? And typically they'll tell me that they had colon issues, they had gastrointestinal issues 10, 20 years prior to ever being diagnosed with cancer prior to ever having to go in and be told that they needed parts of their colon removed. So therefore, whenever you have some of these gastrointestinal issues, you want to take control of them. Because as more studies come to light, we're learning that the gut microbiome has all sorts of associations with your health. Getting rid of the unhealthy bacteria in your gut and fixing your microbiome balance can reverse many health problems that you may be experiencing. Much of the science shows now your gut is talking with your brain. It's talking with your thyroid. It's having interactions with your entire body. So we want to make sure that we get this under control. And one of the most devastating things that can also happen is just autoimmune disorders that start to spiral out of control because they become very hard to harness and get control of after they spiral out of control. So let's go ahead and make sure that we focus on removing this harmful bacteria. And let's talk about a few things that you can basically implement today in order to accomplish this. So first we want to make sure that we're doing the right things from here on out in order to provide a healthy environment to have the healthy microbiome flourish. So we mentioned that when you're born, you're kind of born with this healthy microbiome, but yet as you make poor lifestyle choices, it can actually just weaken and weaken throughout your lifetime. Rounds of antibiotics destroys your microbiome. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we're removing processed foods. We wanna make sure that we're lowering our sugar intake and our carb intake. We're focusing on eating good whole foods. We're removing inflammatory foods, right? We wanna get rid of the seed oils. We wanna make sure that we're getting rid of the different harmful vegetable oils. We wanna make sure that we're getting rid of artificial flavorings and uh, artificial foods. Now, the next thing we wanna make sure that we're doing is starting to put good things back in. Some different supplements that I like to use are like the BioClear 1 and 2, which I mentioned in this video to help really start clearing out much of this bad bacteria. I mean, I kid you not, this is something that I use personally and also use in my clinic. And then the other thing that we can do is we can start using both prebiotics and probiotics in order to start putting the good stuff back in. Because not only do we wanna take probiotics, but we also wanna feed them correctly. Much of the research actually shows that you can get just as much benefits in most cases by taking prebiotics as you can by taking probiotics. A lot of people are only taking probiotics and they forget about the pre. But if you're taking the probiotics and you're not feeding these probiotics correctly, they won't last. They're just going to be flash in the pan and gone, right? So therefore, we really want to be doing both. The answer isn't, well, if the studies show prebiotics are great, well, that doesn't mean only take that. We want to take both. We want to have the food for the good probiotics, and then we wanna take the good probiotics. So I'll put some resources in the description below to not only the BioClear, but healthy sources of probiotics. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'll really like this video over here next.